Hey, what's up guys? So if you watched the video earlier in the week, then you already know that today I'm gonna to talk about how I 3D printed the driver side roll bar on the sim rig. And I have shared those STL files to the member group. So you can join the channel's base membership and have access to any of the STL files that I've printed. I'll put that link in the description. As far as printing this thing, I do print on a Creality K1 Max. It's a 300 millimeter cubed print bed. So if you're printing with a smaller printer, you're gonna need a little more cutting to make everything fit. And you'll have to figure out how to make all that connect together and work that part out. But if you have a larger print bed, everything's already designed and ready to go. All you have to do is print the parts. Now, as far as putting it all together goes, I'll walk you guys through all those steps and I'm gonna try to do it relatively quickly. So let's jump into that. All right guys, so here's the first part of the roll bar and I've designed this to be fairly easy for you guys to put together if you decide you wanna print this yourselves. So you'll notice the bottom parts are a little bit straighter. I did have a bit of an issue with some uh, supports on this particular bar, but it's on the lower side, you'll never see it. And I decided to just go with it to save on filament. Uh, but yeah, kind of ended up taking off a bottom layer, but. I did fix the supports and I was able to basically print everything else properly. You're gonna see a lot of these dowels and most of them are already inserted. The shorter gray ones are used to hold the pipes into the cross member here. So we can slide those in place. And go ahead and put all of them in. The one bar that I left the dowel included on is this lower bar right here. That was just so you would know which one's front and back. And it makes it easy to know where the bottom's at because the one bar that has a dowel is pre-fitted basically. Now you can see the red dowels are gonna be used to hold all the piping together. Now, depending on how you guys wanna connect this to your rig, I have this thing that I had pretty much already made for the old PVC that worked for me, but every rig's gonna be a little bit different and need you know, different attachments somewhere. This is just one of the three points that I've made to have contact with this bar. So as you can see, that slips right in. Take the upper piece, slide that in place. And once you twist and align everything, you can just take the little red pin right here. And once you get the alignment right, it'll drop right down in. You can push it in as far as you need to till you feel comfortable. But once those are locked in, this thing pretty much stays intact. It's pretty solid. You don't actually have to glue it. You can if you want to, but for me, I felt pretty confident in it the way it was, so I won't be gluing it together. I'm just gonna leave it this way in case I ever decide I wanna change out the bottom or change something on it, it'll make it easier to take it apart. On the back side, exactly the same process. You can start with the top bar. This is the only dowel I printed black because it's actually going to be visible for right now until I create a top for it. This back side is more like a handle for opening and closing. And I chose since I was gonna have more contact with it and I kind of wanted to offset some colors. I did change the color print on it. And once all this slips in together, as you can see, it does so quite easily. That one took a little more coaxing than I had to do with the other ones, but you can see it's dropped down in now. So, the entire roll bar is pretty much complete, except I need support on the bottom and I've already pre-installed the top. So I'll show you guys that in a second. As far as attaching the bottom goes, just keep rolling with uh, little inserts here. Drop another one in right there. Long support. Now for this bottom part, you'll notice I have another mount attached to it. I didn't include this mount because again, you're gonna have to create something that matches whatever distance you need. 
but in this case for me this is what worked to give me a proper mounting spot at the foot of the roll bar just like with everything else strap the dowel right in all right guys let's get into getting this installed so you'll notice this cap right here this is the main cap for the whole uh, roll bar basically and it does act as a little bit of a support and I'll show you guys from the side like how this is put in here because you'll notice it's just here on its own but I basically got an opportunity to put the quick release for the net onto the roll bar which is where it belongs so it was kind of a cool opportunity to print that into this cap now I will include this but you're probably not going to be able to use the same support. Let me show you guys. This design is very rig specific because of the length and everything. But you'll notice this gray arm right here. That's the only thing holding this support in place right now. And basically once the quick release net is connected and the bar is installed down here. This thing is 100% stable, but right now you can see it has quite a bit of movement. Now, as far as installation goes, this is pretty much designed to have kind of a backwards tilt to it. So once I drop in, oh, so once I slide that in place, I can take my little feet here. Put a bolt in. Oh no. So guys, this thing is super easy to put together. Like I wanted it to just go on simple. And as you saw, it really did. It works well. It can handle some bounce and some weight on it. Not a whole lot of weight, but it does handle a little bit. I could probably glue that one spot up there where it kind of pops out, but I don't really need to because the next part I'm gonna show you guys is just a really cool solution to help hold it all together and make it look better. A little bit of 3D printed padding. Covers up the seams. And overall, you end up with what I think is a rather realistic looking roll bar on your driver's side. All right, so admittedly, it probably still needs a little bit of paint to get it 100% right because right now it matches the dash. It needs something a little more metallic, a little more roll bar-ish, and I will get to that. But with so many other projects going on to try to get the last parts of this rig buttoned up, it's just not going to be the number one priority right now. So at some point, I'll take it off, paint it, do whatever with it, just not right away. As I said in the beginning of the video, if you guys want to be able to make these yourself, I put all the STL files on the membership page. There's a link in the description. You guys can join the membership page, have access to anything I've done so you can either replicate the rig or modify it, take what you want from it, and use it for your own rig. As far as upcoming things for the channel, there's a lot of things in the works right now, but in the meantime, until I've finalized some conversations I'm having, we're going to focus on trying to get the rest of this rig done and be 100% 992, hopefully by the end of May. And I probably won't have too many updates on the rig. We'll focus on some other things that I wanted to share with you guys. So until next week, I'll see you guys on the track.